the big question on talk time after this break. Stay with us. Right, uh, welcome back. There is anxiety over who will represent the People's Democratic Party in the governorship election coming up on Saturday. On Friday, the Court of Appeal in Abuja joined indefinitely the judgment on the appeal filed by factional governorship candidate Eitaya Jegede and the panel led by Justice Ibrahim Salawa ruled that it would await the Supreme Court's decision in the appeals filed by factional governorship candidate Eitaya Jegede in which he asked that he be declared the authentic candidate of the PDP. Now, the Federal High Court had given an order recognizing another candidate, Jimo Ibrahim, as the rightful candidate of the PDP, whom Anak also recognized. Uh, we have joining us uh, right here in the studio, Banji Okwomo. He's the State Publicity Secretary, PDP, in Ondo State. Uh, good morning. Thanks uh, for joining us. Good morning. Uh, and now, morning, uh, people in state yes, <laughs> I'm sure they're hearing. <laughs> now, um, Ahmed Makarfi led PDP asks for a postponement of the November 26 uh, governorship election in Ondo State. Would that be the way to go? Yes, what underpins the clamor and the call for the postponement of the election is the phenomenon that you cannot be a judge in your own cause. The INEC is a necessary party in the suit that is already before the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And it is about a case of alleged criminal substitution of the name of Itai Ojegede by the INEC with that of Jimo Ibrahim, a member of the Accord Party. In the circumstance of that suit, which is already before the Supreme Court, based on the fact that the Api Court decided to stay action within the pendency of the time the Supreme Court will look into the motion now filed before it by those who had all along been castigating, condemning, and criticizing the uh, court, the judiciary. Until that is done, INEC is morally bound and constitutionally also bound to wait since it is a necessary party in that suit and ensure that let the verdict be given because the, the substitution of Jagger's name was done by INEC. The based, law the based acts, on a court no, ruling. No, 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 it's no. There is a law that established INEC, the act, the electoral mm -hmm. act. Yes. That law says you monitor the primaries of, a pol of political parties and INEC monitor the primary of PDP in Ondo states which produced Yita Ojegede as the candidate of the party. Based on that, after nomination of Jegede's name, INEC published Jegede's name until 29 days into the election when INEC substituted his name by a court order. So INEC has questions to answer because INEC itself is guided by law. In the first place, INEC ought not to have done that substitution because not only that court order was before INEC, there were all those court orders before and they say, don't remove a child of the name. Because the court order which brought in Jim O'Brien's name said, accept Jim O'Brien. He didn't say, replace Jagadeh's name. He didn't say, remove Jagadeh's name. I make mm. discretionally went ahead to remove Jagadeh's name. No if we were, because going by the statement made by the, rec the resident electoral commission of INEC in Ondo State, in his defense against what he described as frivolous allegation of bribery that uh, the Jim Ibrahim group made against him. Mm. He said that uh, he didn't collect any bribe, that Jim, as far as he knows. Or that he did not ask No, for. he said that as far as he knows, that he knows that Jim Ibrahim is a member of a court party. So why now would I make abide by an order which is against his own 
regulatory the, principles. The, the but, the, but the, the point there is, Ibrahim so, 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 um, membership is a problem. Mm. Is it that he's no longer a card carrying member of the, or he's not even a card carrying member the of the PDP? The resident electoral commissioner I, uh, of uh, INEC in Undose says, even at the last in, in, uh, interview granted, he granted, he said, Jim O'Brien, as far as he knows, is a member of a court party. By that, I make ought not to have obeyed that uh, Justice Abak order because that was not only that was not the only order before. Yeah, this. but if we are basing it, ba no. if we are basing it on what he said, yeah. because the point there is that is, is, the, is, is the resident electoral commissioner for Ondo State. He was the one that monitored the election of the delegates. The, the election was not just one day election. Mm. Mm -hmm. Delegates to the Congress were first elected at different what congresses held at the various world levels of which INEC monitors under the Fabo led executive these delegates now they were 609 no, but went to the state congress in Ondo state on august 27 and elected a retired judge in that process jim o'brien was not there it, it, the INEC resident royal commissioner of Ondo state is so convinced that jim o'brien is not a member of pdp even in his statements which he made to the whole world. All right, but but so but, but, but let, let's get this right. But let, let's have allowed, yeah. the but, should not have allowed. No, but let, let's, let's let's get this right. Although yeah. we have a report we're going to play uh, shortly, mm -hmm. but let's get this right. The point there is that every candidate runs on the platform of a political party. Definitely, Jimo Ibrahim cannot come on his own. He must have been. Uh, uh, he must have been the party. Whether it is faction or there is no mm -hmm. faction, but it must have been the party that, is, that has taken Jimo Ibrahim to court to say, okay, recognize Jimo Ibrahim as our candidate. And in, in, that, in that window, what does INEC have to do when there is a court let, order? Let, he has to, let me give he has to obey. There. Yes. Okay. A court judgment was said to have been delivered on, on the 29th of June mm -hmm. between Poroye and eight others and uh, and the uh, uh, PDP and INEC. The PDP in this contest, not the PDP known to everybody. They said to have co obtained uh, a, a, a consent judgments against the INEC. When in August, oh no, in, in October, when they instituted a contest proceeding against INEC, INEC disagreed that what was taken to the lower court leading to that judgment has nothing to do with the uh, 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 November 26th election in Ondo State. For mm -hmm. INEC to have disagreed against the so-called consent judgment. Are you getting me now? Mm -hmm. So the judgment has no nexus with the appearance of Jim Ibrahim as candidate of the PDP. Jim Ibrahim was not a party to the so-called suit leading to the 29th uh, June uh, judgment. Neither Jimo Ibrahim nor Ishtar Jogede was a party to that suit. It was the content judgment, content proceeding of October that the Justice Abang brought in Jimo Ibrahim as a beneficiary of the so-called judgment. That is what we are challenging in court. They obtained that judgment, judgment in secrecy and they call it consent judgment, which we are querying that if you say you took, took PDP to court. The lawyer that filed the suit and appeared for the plaintiff, Jimmy Ikure and others, doubled also as a lawyer for the defendant and got that contract judgment. All right, in the meantime, said, Jagade, oh. um, hold on, just yeah. uh, let's uh, bring uh, more uh, facts on this particular uh, issue uh, to our viewers now. The PDP, uh, can we just bring that slide down <laughs> so that we can take it from you know, where we should. Okay, now it started in May when former Borno State Governor Ali Modu Sharif was the acting chairman of the PDP. A national convention was held in Port Harcourt where delegates constituted a caretaker committee led by another former governor, Ahmed Makarfi. Now, Sharif then headed to the Federal High Court in Lagos where Justice Ibrahim Buba affirmed him as interim chairman and declared Makarfi's caretaker committee illegal on so May 24th. Now, there were a number of other rulings, and at the end of July, the Federal High Court in Lagos and Abuja recognized the Ali Modu Sheriff faction, and the Federal High Court in Port Harcourt, as well as the FCT High Court in Apo and Meitama recognized the Ahmed Makarfi faction.
Now, in August, the Ahmed Makarfi led faction conducted a primary in Ondo State where Itayo Jagede emerged its governorship candidate. At this point, the leadership legal war uh, had been fought in six courts. Ali Modusheri's faction conducted its own primary and Jimo Ibrahim emerged its governorship candidate. Now, that election wasn't monitored by INEC, which monitored the Makarfi led factions. And now, when INEC released its final list of candidates for the governorship election, Jimo Ibrahim's name was there and that of the Itayo Jagade was missing. The list was different from the one released three days earlier, which had Jagade's name and not that of Ibrahim. Now, the Makarfi led faction headed to the appeal court seeking permission to appeal the ruling recognizing Jimo Ibrahim as the candidate. Now, the three man panel of the court hearing the appeal initially granted Eita Jagere's request to appeal Justice Abank's order recognizing Jimo Ibrahim as the PDP's real candidate. It is the same panel that has uh, reserved judgment in Jagere's appeal. Tomorrow, Tuesday, is the day the Supreme Court will certainly come up with uh, their own final fi final or finale let me say final uh, judgment final on judgment this matter on this mm. issue now if we have to move ahead we just have we just have about uh, just less than a week to the election but before i ask you a question let, let's say let's bring in this report uh, let's play this report by, from uh, from our producers now it will give us a perspective of what we're talking about. Well, before that report, maybe we should take on uh, the factional deputy chairman of the that. PDP in Ondo, Alabi Johnson Jayola. Why would I you object, object, to object to that? We should be balanced. No, this I object is to that. what we do here. The order the, we must I, and I hold want, on. I, please, hold you on. need to hear me out. Uh, yes. let's, let's yes. I object to that. Why? You see, we shouldn't. You are, you are, you are, the, you are the media. Yes. And you have a role to play in this democracy. Mm -hmm. You have to protect this democracy, just like the judiciary must protect this democracy. Absolutely. You invited me to your station in Lagos that somebody uh, in Abuja, somebody was going, go, go, going to join me. That person, in the course of the in interview, I met him in the studio. He ran away. This morning again, I was, told, I was asked to come from Abuja to uh, Lagos to come and join you in this program. And uh, the intention was to enable us to come together and iron out this issue. Mm -hmm. The same set of people ran away. This same set of people were in court in Abuja, filed a suit, uh, and, uh, they filed their, their defense at the Court of Appeal. They petitioned the panel. After petitioning the panel, they ran away. They did not only run away, they didn't even come to appear as the defendant in the suit. The same set of people, they are operating from the secret environment. We cannot reckon with this. I cannot be on this tour, Gio, and allow you okay, to be just, all right. Just hold no, on. We have all right, a commercial now, break. Now, right, now, no, listen. So if listen. they want, if they, if right, they really did have anything to say, yeah, let Banji. them come here to come and say it. Yeah, Banji, say it. Banji. I'm not going to accept that. Banji, you are in the studio now. I'm not now. going to take anybody don't, on, on No, don't worry, don't worry. You, you just stay. We are the we are the umpire here, and we decide and who goes on air. We are neutral. We listen to you. We have to listen to everyone. Banji. Listen now. We we'll have to listen to you. We have to listen they to everyone. Here. All right, we'll Let's take a break now and then we come back on this. Stay with us. Okay. All right, if you're watching us, you're, you're, you're watching TVC Breakfast and we are looking at Ondo State. We just have about a few days to the election there, the governorship election, and uh, there has still been controversy going on in People's Democratic Party in the state. Now, before we go ahead, uh, because we have Banji Okomo, the Publicity Secretary of People's Democratic Party, and we'll be having the faction of Deputy Chairman of PDP in Ondo State, Alabi Johnson uh, Jayola. He will join us Malibu, soon. And right now, let's have Fola Dili join us to give us a perspective on the social media, what people are saying yes. on the election in Hola. Ondo State. Morning. Hola, good morning. Good morning, Banji. Mm. Mm. Yes. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> All right, so, um, I mean, the studio is boiling, but mm. also things are boiling and getting... On into, social media. On social media, mm. as you can imagine. <laughs> and people are threatening to do things if the person they want doesn't get elected. Right. So let's get some of these reactions. Okay, Shagun Adiri says, so the Ondo State PDP crisis has remained inconclusive due to some underground maneuver of the ogre at the top. Okay, oh, we're watching. 
Adeyemi Adebowale says when Mimiko left LP to PDP, he muscled the existing PDP leadership and structure in Ondo State. That ignited the fire Jimo is fueling today. K Style says what is happening in Ondo State shows the hand of federal government are not clean and PDP crisis as claimed. Husseini M. Mansour says, who will be the next governor of Ondo State with a billion question marks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Wale Odushala said, no Jagede, no election in Ondo State. We will make Ondo State a battlefield. And someone replied to that. Oriwe Shala Alao said, this post is from, so referring to that post from Wale Odushala, uh, Oriwe Shala Alao says, this post is from one of Mimiko slash Jagede's loyalists in Ondo State. The police... Nigerian Army and Nigerian President should take note of their plans. Okay, Banji, let me quickly come to you yeah. on this one. Um, so, someone asked there, who will be the next governor of, Nundu, of Ondo State? Who do you think, um, bias aside, whoever you support aside, looking at it neutrally, who do you think will be the next governor of Ondo State? Who do you think the people want? Yes, and democracy who, is the simplest form of government. And democracy is guided by constitution and laws. Our laws and our constitution must be respected. The processes of electing a leader must be respected. The president of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, emerged through the ballot. He was nominated by his party. The situation we are having in Odo State has a lot of hands in it like it has been insinuated. And the only way we can guarantee peace in Odo State why it will not be the handiwork of some people to deliberately set Undo State on fire? The only thing is to allow the cause of democracy to prevail. You cannot import a, an accord party member to be the PDP uh, candidate. It is not done. The resident electoral commissioner of Undo State says that uh, Jim O'Brien is an accord party. Okay, so Banji, who do you think so will win? Have Besides, had, maybe not PDP, any wins. other party. Who do you think who, will win? He who wins the election. It's a matter of the preponderance of the people as expressed through the ballot. You can only image the candidate of the party through a primary of the party as a strength yeah, in the electoral act of the party. Will okay, well, you cannot that, be you might a not candidate get an answer to your question. <laughs> okay, so I might not get an answer to my question. All right, all right. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. All right, thank you very much for but that. But the thank point you. is, you know, it let's, is let's, it, it is very obvious mm. that the political actors themselves mm. may not really be factoring in the most important component of this electoral process, which is the people that you know, like you rightly said. But we'll come to that. Let's hear what, you know, the man in the eye of the storm, uh, whose name the INEC uh, has recognized. Uh, let's hear uh, from him. Jim Ibrahim. Jim Ibrahim. I need to take away injustice. We cannot avoid to have a, 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 a territorial district producing governor for 18 years or 16 years at a go. That is complete injustice. That is hopeless. So we will not allow that. That will never happen in all those states. And you know that very clearly. I need to have as first priority is payment of outstanding salaries of workforce. Because a good workforce is the one that can deliver uh, the dividends of democracy, you may say, or in my own language, that will deliver efficiency and effectiveness. Mm. Okay. You just heard directly from, from him there. What, what's your response to that? He is saying when, when, that, when you know, for, to... for uh, a, a governor to emerge from one same senatorial district for upwards of 16 years is unfair. Uh, you see, you see, who wants to come to equity must come with play hand. Mm -hmm. The immediate past governor, late Agagu, is, was from Okitipupa local government, where Jimo Ibrahim comes from. They are from the same community. There are 18 local government areas in Ondo states. If he is talking about senatorial districts and there are 18 local government areas in Ondo states, where is the equity if after Mimiko it must be a, a, a Jim Ibrahim to be the governor of Ondo state? Jim Ibrahim is fraudulently making that statement and I say it on air. Agagu from Okitupupa, Jim Ibrahim from Okitupupa, Mimiko took over from Agagu. There are 18 local government areas in Ondo state. That statement is fraud, is fraudulent, and it is not representative of democratic principles and ideas. 
For you to be governor of Ondo State, you must be acceptable across the people of, across the local government areas of Ondo State. And of course, if you are even looking at it from the bigger scale of senatorial districts, mm -hmm. there is this world called Trips and Credit Society. The last person that takes his turn is the one that will first take in the next round of it. Uh, not had, had had the opportunity of an eight-year tenure in the in the in the governors of Ondo State. South, where I come from, where Agabu came from, and Jim Ibrahim himself, we had it for six plus years, which means that the, after that we had Mimiko. The central decision that took last is supposed to be the one to take first, again in another round. So what he has just said is, is marks of logic. To think that if Agagu, having left as governor, he will not be the one to take the seat of the governor of Ondo State. So what he is saying does not represent equity, justice, and fair play. So All right, Banji, let's 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 let's, 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 okay. let's see from this window. Mm -hmm. You yeah. have just few days before this election. Mm -hmm. Yes. What what do you think is the chances of your party going in with the, all of this crisis? The issue is this: we go into an election not on the basis of the strength of political party or the quality of political party or the charisma of a political party. You go into election with the quality and charisma as well as acceptability and popularity of the candidate standing the election. That is why INEC does not issue certificates to the political party. It issues certificates to the person who bears the ticket. On the platform of a political party? On the party. platform of a political mm. party. Yes. So it is a combination of two strengths of your party and your individual personality. In on those states, we cannot go into any election, whichever political platform you think of it, Mr. Jim Ibrahim, and win that election. We cannot. All right. In so that case, what, are you deduct? Are you are, are you deductively saying? Now, are you saying no? Are you no? Let me ask you this: Are you deductively saying that if Jim Ibrahim remains the candidate of the yeah. PDP, mm -hmm. you are going to walk against? On those him? states, will be on fire. How, why? On those states, we resist it. The people will resist it. Who decides not, who decides who the people really want when it comes to who they want as their governor or president or whoever at, at the end of the day? The, because you are saying that it, it's based on the you know who the people want. Yes. But have we really got to the point where we can actually decide and say clearly that this is who the people want without the election yes, the coming and going? Well, all the political parties in Ondose had been interacting with INEC. INEC has always known the political parties that exist. Yes. INEC in Odose knows the or leadership they have been re re relating with, with respect to election of uh, adult delegates. There was never a time the so-called Jim Ibrahim group had any interaction with the, uh, the INEC. Before you even go to the special congress that produced the uh, candidate of the party, you must have elected adult delegates in addition to the authentic, automatic delegates of the party. All these people are people that will come together to elect the candidate. None of this did Jim Ibrahim go through. They said they had a primary in Ibadan, which mm -hmm. is uncalled for, which is unwarranted, which, is, which has no base or basis in law to, for you to go to another state. You cannot hold primary election without the notice of INEC. You must have notified INEC 21 days before the election, before you go into primary. All this they never did. The, all he just did was to go to a court and say, I'm the candidate of the party. And the so-called judgment that we are challenging the court now, which is before the Supreme Court, has no correlation or no nexus with the issue that has to do with the candidate of PDP in 2016 election in Ondo State. That is the legality of what we are challenging. But the, what you see now is a situation whereby they don't want a P court to sit on the matter. As we had already sat, had already had all the, all the parties. Who is they? Uh, uh, they had already had, they were about giving the judgment. They didn't want Appeal Court to have the judge. They went to the Supreme Court to challenge the jurisdiction of the Appeal of the Appeal Court and to also say that the, the rulings that the Appeal Court had given cannot stand. Now, now that the matter is before the Supreme Court, of course, uh, um, Jagade himself has gone to the Supreme Court. Yeah, and this some are saying is you know further uh, complicating complicating issues be, why because we are saying, the panel. Why we are saying the election should be postponed is yes. that the man. The institution that carried out that substitution, that wrong substitution of Ita Jagadeh's name, 21 days. You can only do substitution 30 days. They right. did it 29 days into the election. That is INEC. INEC is a respondent in the matter that is before the Supreme Court. Okay, so well, I must guess hold on. If they cannot go into. Let me tell but, you. But, but, but in this just case, wait. in this just case, wait. even wait. though you are calling for just the wait. for the let postponement this of let this me say election, this. just hear me out. Mm. APC and AD. 
We, 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 don't, we don't have the time anymore okay, anyway, okay. No but, but, but before, before the election, I know we'll have time to discuss this again, but Banji, I must thank you for coming on the program. Thank this you so morning. much. Thank you very much for thank spending you so your time much. with us. Well, time is against us, but uh, it's getting heated this morning about on those states, but we look forward to watching. We're watching how things are playing out. This is where we come to the end of today's edition of the program. Tomorrow will be another time, and don't forget, Tomorrow, the Supreme Court will be delivering judgment on this issue. So we'll have a direction on how things will play out. Indeed. Have a great day ahead. I am Mike Okwache. And I am Ngozi Alemu. Thank you so much.